Hey guys, what's going on? It's Gibbs the Great here, back with another episode of Poker Talk OBS Potential Hoenn Megas. And in today's episode, you guys will be talking about a potential Mega Mac Cargo. Now, since Slugma, when Slugma was introduced into the Hoenn region, everyone thought it was going to be an absolute rubbish Pokemon. I mean, it's Mac Cargo is one of those Pokemon that is underest, underestimated and not used at all. I mean, looking at these base stats here, that which you guys will see in a minute, it's got base 30 speed and base 50 attack. Now, bearing in mind, my cargo is a physical bulky Pokemon, but it's also got a special attack of 80. That's not bad. I just think it's his speed that lets it down the most. Cause, I mean, it's interpreted. It looks like a snail. It acts like a snail as well, because it's just so slow. But anyway, you guys, let's just give you some base facts here. It evolves from Slugma starting at level 38. Um, it has the, it can have the abilities Magma Armor or Flame Body as one of its normal abilities, or can have Weak Armor as its hidden ability. Fire Rock type in, of course. Um, I choose to run the move set um, Earth Power, Heat Wave, Ancient Power, and Yawn. Why? Because Earth Power, of course, is a special move. It's got 90 power, 100% accuracy. Heat Wave, it can hit both opponents. So it's 95 power, but it's only 90 accuracy, but like I say, you can hit both Pokemon. It has the potential to hit both Pokemon opposite you. Ancient power, just because it's a special rock-type move. And, I mean, yes, power, power gem is a special rock-type move, but of course you can't get that by level up. And you can't certainly breed it onto him either, but yes. Ancient power is there just so you can um, raise your stats up a bit. And then yawn is there because who doesn't w run a yawn mag cargo, being the slowest thing on your field. And the one thing you want to do is get a major threat out of there, so you just yawn them. And then hopefully they'll swap out, unless they stay in. Hoping they can get a first turn wake up, which is highly unlikely with yawn. But yes, there you go. So, guys, um, the items I choose to run on a um, modest mag cargo would be a flame plate. Now, I know it's nothing special. I mean, I know it's meant for Arce Arceus. And, um, yeah, flame plate just it, um, reduces it. Increase number no reduces increases firepower by 20%. So it's nothing special, just there for Mac Cargo, really. Now, if we look at the designs for Mega Mac Cargo, some of them I would say are a bit ambitious, but um, a bit unexpected for my liking. I mean, yeah, some of them are similar to normal Mac Cargo design, and some of them are a bit radical too much for my styling. But yeah, like you'll see here, the end product, I would just like a Mac Cargo that a Mega Mac Cargo that breaks this shell on the back just a little bit. So we can see some of that dazzling sunlight. Because I mean, I'm just looking at um, Mac Cargo's Pokedex description here from Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. It's, um, it says its bottle, brittle shell occasionally spouts intense flames that circulate around and throughout its body. Its body is as hot as lava and is always billowing. Flames will occasionally burst from its shell. Hmm. So yeah, if and, and apparently if you Mac Cargo's body temperature is so hot that if you look at his shell, it will go bl you will go blind within like a, a hundred hundred meters or something. If you look at it that from that distance, you will actually go blind. But we we don't need to worry about that because Pokemon aren't real. JK. Um, but yes, you guys, Mega Mac Cargo's design looks absolutely amazing. I would give it. I would keep one of his abilities as Flame Body. Because, you know, if you touch this thing, you're most likely going to get burned. I mean, no, you know, it's nothing special there. I mean, I can't really think of a Mega... An ability that Mega Mac Cargo could have had that's different from this normal normal Mac Cargo's abilities. But yes, you guys, I will keep the same new set that it has before, as always. Um, and as for its um, typing, I would keep it Fire Rock. Because it's still got a little bit of shell on its back. And its stab engine power is nothing to be messed around with. Now, when it comes to its stats, obviously the shell is kind of broken, so I would up his speed a bit. I would double his speed actually to 60, just so you, he gains just a little bit of power. Reduce the, his bulk, defense bulk a bit by um, 20, taking it down to 100, and its special defense as well, taking that down to 60, so I'll put um, reduce 20 points from that. That gives us 10 points more than when we started, because. You know, if you think about it, it's got um, minus minus 20 defense, minus 20 special defense, and mine um, and plus 30 attack. So speed, sorry. So we've got 110 points to play with. Honestly, I would put. Um, I know Game Freak won't do anything like this, but honestly, I would put 
um, 70 points towards its special attack, and then I think 90 points towards its attack. So yes, um, wait, did I say 90 points? I meant for, um, 40 points towards its attack, taking it up to 90. So there you go, you guys, we have 150 special attack and 90 physical attack, 100 defense, 160 special defense and 60 speed. I'm taking the total up to a nice round for 510. I mean, yes, it's less than normal Megas would have, and, you know, Mega Macargo is... Macargo is really an underestimated Pokemon. You know, I've never seen a Wi-Fi that over uses a Macargo, probably because it's so underestimated, and in my in my opinion, opinion, it's um it's one of the worst Pokemon that um, Game Freak have put, brought into the game, but... I think a Mega Macargo would make Macargo just a lap, a tiny bit better. I mean, most people could choose not to run a Mega Macargo just for the purpose that it is underused and not used, pr practically not used at all. But, you know, if Game Freak implements a Mega Macargo into the game, that'll be fine by me because it gets me a chance to try it out. But anyway, you guys, there we go. Nothing special this week, just a Macargo. Um, I'm running out of Pokemon. As you can tell, I'm kind of running out of Pokemon from the whole region that I have. Uh, that already had Mega Evolutions in X and Y. So, if I seem like I'm using Pokemon that uh, um, seem a bit shitty in game and underused, it's because I'm running out of ideas. But yeah, next week, you guys, I think we'll be talking about a Mega Grumpig. You know, Spunk's, uh, Spunk's evolution isn't that used. I mean, I didn't think that Spunk would evolve into Grumpig, but there we go. That's, that's for next Thursday's episode. So, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode. Please leave a like if you think Mega Mac Cargo should be a thing. Um, comment with your feedback on why you think it should or shouldn't be a thing. And as always, you guys, subscribe for all the latest Ultra Tech content. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Poker Talk Obvious. You guys have been amazing. I've been good to great. This is me signing off.